Hello, challenging tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Magic and Magic with me, Blue Ankylo. Where Blue tries to remember that this is supposed to be a challenge run. It's supposed to be difficult. So stop complaining about how bad it is now. I don't, I don't think I'm doing too bad, but uh, honestly, there are definitely times where having four mages will make this game a lot easier. Hopefully I've been able to demonstrate some of those times. But obviously there are some counters, like, you know, the facehuggers from the last couple episodes... And certain mages with Dispel and Purge, but those guys are jerks always, so whether you're playing mage only or not, there's just some encounters that are really tough. And, um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to stay positive, and it is, I am, I'm definitely having a good time, but, you know, sometimes it's easy for the commentary to turn a little, uh, a little bit sour, and I'm, I don't want that to happen. So, let's see here, we found a little secret. Bring out the fire. I feel stronger. And I don't think we have any other strength boosting equipment at the moment. Uh, well, technically we do, but we've already got them equipped. So, you know, I bet you 34 might is probably okay. Yeah. Smash that wall. And we needed that to open a door. Hey, the head. <sighs> Fine. Take a deep breath. I'm going to do the sleep strat again. Not going to do poison. Not going to do AoEs. We know how dark mages work. They're big jerks. Slow it all down. I feel stronger. Keep an eye on what they cast. We'll get them eventually. Go to sleep. Good. And then we just want to keep a couple buffs up. Liquid membrane seems to be the most valuable for reducing damage. But we want them to purge and then just put another garbage spell on. Feeble mind doesn't really matter. So we just ignore it right now. And then they purge the liquid membrane, which is pretty helpful. And we'll just keep smacking them. So this is a bit more of like a patience battle than anything else. And the problem is trying to fight them with spells tends to result in a lot of resisted, very frustrating moments. And um, a lot of mana wasted with not a lot of success, you know. So at least this way is steady. We always do damage. We don't miss. And, um... What are they trying to say? And, uh... Yeah, it takes a while. You gotta be patient, but... It works. Um... Let's take a second to unfeeble mind. While this guy's sleeping, we can uh, wait a turn. In fact... Nah, we'll start attacking right now, it's fine. Oh no, he turned off my light! Nah, he got the one. The, he got the one I didn't want him to want to get. Now, I suppose we could put on a bunch of long-lasting, cheap spells. Um, Less chance of him getting liquid membrane, which is the good one, right? Uh, I don't know. I think I might have three of these, give or take. Uh, light orb, five mana. I think, like, purge, I think, just gets rid of one randomly, is, is what I understand, I think. So I'm not 100% sure if this is like a, a good idea, but uh, clairvoyance lasts a long time and also yeah, so he purged the light orb. Like once I've got all these running, I just, anytime he purges, I just put it back up and I just keep hitting them. You, know, you got torchlight. 
I might have one more too. Uh, Danger Sense? Yeah, that's also a five mana long laster. And then whenever Liquid Membrane pops off, we recast. He's almost dead. Now we just rush him down, right? So you can just, via having lots of garbage spells, kind of protect one or two valuable spells. It costs a little bit of mana to get set up, but it's not that bad. Kind of happy with that as a strategy. I've, I've been trying to think of stuff between episodes a little bit about what we could do to um, to make some of these fights less frustrating. So that was kind of one of my ideas, and it worked okay. This is plus destiny? Yeah. Which isn't really used for much. Put a map mark on the door. Probably means there's a switch somewhere. Did we get a key? No, we got a lever. The lever opened this, but this... Did I miss a... Ah, treasure. I figured there had to be something in here. This looks powerful. Is it powerful? It is not. Immune to sleep and some basic resistances. You can equip it, but... Oh, it's exactly the same as something you already had. Except not as good, because this one had all res. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, we've got a bunch of rings and stuff that aren't, you know, amazing. But, um... Okay. Let me check my relics. Level 4 Titan Leggings. That's maximum level. It's a bunch of armor, immune to paralyze, bunch of might. That's pretty good. We've got Thunderblade Helmet, which is immune to feeble mind. That's nice. And a bit of air protection, and it might get a bit better. We've got our old magic boots of evade and magic. And the gloves have evade and magic sleep protection. In case you didn't have enough. So we could probably, at, at some point, uh, we should, we could spread these out so everyone's, like, <laughs> we've got like three stacks of, we, we have, for a while there, shows off had four different immunity to, to, immunity to the magic sleep, but nothing puts us to sleep so far, so it doesn't really matter, but, <laughs> just funny. Um, but yeah, you know, we can swoop. We can swap those around and make sure everyone's got multiple different types of resistances or whatever. But it only really matters um, if we're fighting enemies that can put you to sleep. There's going to be an ambush any second. No, it can't be. Holding. How do we do this? Um, they're just gonna stay at range. We gotta close the distance. We gotta not die. I feel stronger. And then we gotta put some of them to sleep, I think. Which is just gonna take some work. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally aware that there's some bad things going on here. Got one. We got double purged. Alright, not anymore. Uh, I'm gonna... Take a potion so I can restack liquid membrane, but 
I probably won't go quite as hard on the all the all the different kinds of spare buffs, but I want to put a few on. And I think when we take damage like that on a big crit, I'm just gonna. Uh, what am I saying? Say I'm just gonna um take a potion. So one in four chance of purging the one I care about. I'll do one more, I guess. That puts it a one in five chance, which is pretty slim. You know, we've got three of these guys to kill. Uh, he got danger sense. That's easy. We lost our membrane due to time. Purge clairvoyance. Yeah, this is, these are definitely long fights. And I, I swear, I remember on my first run, I do remember this fight. I actually couldn't beat it with my party, with my mixed party, whatever my balanced party was, on my first attempt. Um, I'm pretty sure I had to quit this mansion because I couldn't finish the second floor. And we tried again. I tried again later. Ah, oh, he got the liquid membrane. Lucky cast. Okay, he's dead. Ah, we'll just keep going. It's gonna take a little while. Hope you guys are comfortable, have a little snack. The thing that would really work for us here is if we could feeble mind them. Um, I don't know if there's a way we even can do that in this game, but it would be great. got lucky there. Managed to purge the one in five. Uh, clairvoyance. Now I'm going to try to keep up my liquid mind shields. Light orb. I mean, every time he does that, he does zero damage to us. And I just spend five mana to re restore it. And we get three hits in. So I'd say that's like optimal turn, even if it's a little slow. And stay down. Got my torch light. This one ran out. Torch light again. Clairvoyance. He's really trying to. He's he he hates us. He can purge us like crazy. I mean, I would say we're avoiding the liquid membrane a reasonable amount of times on these uh, one in five, twenty percent kind of chances. I can cast it one more time, so we should be fine now, no matter what. wizard ambush dealt with certainly not an easy fight and as far as I can remember definitely one of the ones that gave me a lot of trouble um, with a normal party like I maybe we're a little bit higher level because we did some overworld extra killing but um, I think it's the mage party really that's starting to give us more options than what a normal group would have so uh, yeah it's not simple but 
Pick up. Now we're probably not done down here, you know, we're not uh, home free. Did I miss, I bet you I missed a lever somewhere. Well, that might just be an exit. This is... Maybe this is the one that will open, I don't know. Bunch of doors to the same area. Uh... Broke that open, we hit the switch. That opened this door. Wasn't there like a, we needed a cog or something for a switch somewhere? Did I act, did I secretly get one and I didn't notice it? Um, it's this, I keep forgetting, yeah, this is a weird button. Uh, would it even be in here? I don't see any cogs. Bunch of random junk we picked up. Oh, we have a shard of water. Wait, when did we get that? Did, did we get that? Maybe when we killed... Uh, I think we must have got the shard of water inside this... Uh, inside this dungeon when we killed the, the boss guy, right? This means we can go back to the elemental forge and open up another area and get... A blessing of probably water but I bet you we couldn't do that until we went into this dungeon I don't think we had access to that earlier but I could be wrong I feel like I'm missing a switch I'm zooming around a lot but they do kind of sneak into these walls. There's, there's a lot going on on these walls, you know? Just hit spacebar on every wall until you get it, right? I need the cog wheel, right? I put a note there. But where's the cog wheel? It's possible we'll have to come back to the dungeon later with a cog wheel. But that doesn't seem super likely. I could be wrong though. Kind of think that's where um, Faligar is hiding in the room. Cog wheel. This one kind of looks different too. You could go back downstairs. I think I've checked everything up here pretty thoroughly. This was the most suspicious room. And I don't think there's anything in the chest. That's where you'd expect to find, like, a cogwheel or something in here. Found a barrel and one treasure. And we had to literally break a wall to get there. Okay. Well, either I can't figure it out or we'll have to come back later. We can do a quick check on the first floor for something. Cogwheels, though. I 
Feels like we did everything on this floor, but. Man, when I retire, I want a house like this. What would we be looking for here? Um, like a treasure that I missed, or I mean, there could be a lever here as well, in theory, that opens a door on the second floor. That's I. I'm trying to remember back. It's been a really long time since I played. But I definitely remember having some difficulties. Both with the combat in this area. And uh, the, the, the switch doors. That's where we came up. Click that switch already. It opened I mean, these two side doors we walked by the first time. Came to the middle room. Eventually opened up all these side passages. But you didn't have to do these. You could have just left. You know, once you killed the Ripper dude, you could just leave. This is non necessary. This is all optional kind of stuff. Assuming it's just a reminder that that was a secret door originally. And they said they see something, but it was right by a previous secret. Okay, well, maybe we'll get a cogwheel and come back. Let's get out of there. Just note to self, might go back later. Probably in the you probably take the water shard to the elemental forge and get the cogwheel there or something annoying. Well, hello there, you again. How'd you get here? Yes, more glory. I bet you thought the why, but through the city gates, of course. Duke Marcus decided to end the city's lockdown this morning, as you should know, since you're here. Oh, Duke Marcus. Marcus Wolf looks like he's the one who came out as the top dog. Excuse the pun, in his power struggle against. His power struggle that followed the rebel coup. Old Hamza, the founder of the Carthal League, went into hiding. His followers are being hunted and arrested by Marcus and mercenaries and sent to rotten jail in the Black Guard headquarters. Looks like some quest to tea for tea here. If you want to break Falagor out of his cell, you should probably try to find Hamza. Maybe you can help. Mum's the word. Oh. Oh, come on. But not for free. Shush, he's the one helping us. Uh, knowing things is my trade. I rarely miss even a little whisper. And you have been making a lot of noise. I need to get going. Till we are next meeting, Raiders. Dunstan had spoken the truth. The lockdown had been lifted since the new master of the city, Marcus Wolf, had finally revealed himself to the world. Declaring himself Duke of Carthal, Marcus lost no time sending emissaries to the neighboring nations to inform them of his rise to power. Thanks. Okay, so at this point, normally, you'd have access to all the towns other than the crag. And, I mean, it's debatable. Like, I think you could get through the sewers. Like, this, the, the way in avoiding the blackguards on the world map. You know, you could just have to fight some normal monsters. You can avoid the big super wolf and all the stuff that I fought on the way in here. You can get to this... This mansion, and you don't have to fight everything in the mansion. You just have to fight like one group plus the boss. And the boss wasn't too dangerous, and that would unlock this town. And now we can fast travel in and out, I think. All the normal stuff. So, you know, we probably could have got here a fair bit earlier. This city is beautiful, but lacks a bit of green. But if I remember correctly, the rewards for coming here aren't as good as the rewards for sneaking into the crag. 
because there's not as many magic trainers here, basically. And you'd have to still sneak into the crag anyway. To get, you know, well, sneak in or get in, you know, fight stuff properly and explore to get in. But anyway, we've got another town to visit. I think uh, maybe we'll do it the same way I normally do, where first off, I just find all the stuff. Or maybe, maybe we'll do it all together. Welcome to my humble house. Do I know you? You look oddly familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. My name is Kareem. I come from the Seven Cities, from Al Imral, to be precise. I'm a wizard of House Martyria, but I'm more interested in ancient relics and artifacts than spellcraft. My travels take me all around Ashan to Stonehelm, Hammerfall. Wait, Hammerfall? You from there? That's where I saw you. I lived there a few years to study Shantiri Rune. Eh, you can ID magical items. Yay. <laughs> not, not that impressive. Alright. I'm always in a rush. Rushed Ankylo. Giant bridge we're not allowed to cross. You arrive from outside the city. Does the rest of the world know what happened here? Is the Empress sending help? Nobody knows where they are, but I can't say I feel sorry for them. Lord Myron's only a rich kid, incompetent and lazy, while Lord Gino is an old aristocrat, with little interest in the well-being of the citizens. Lady Thea, on the other hand, often proved to be both intelligent and efficient, but her unbridled ambition got the better of her. That being said, I'm not exactly convinced our new ruler is an improvement. Duke Marcus seems to combine all the flaws of our old city council with none of the redeeming qualities. Enjoy your liquid. Enjoy a tiny amount of gold that we robbed from the poor citizens of this, uh, this town. All right. Ashes to ashes. Yes, I know who Owen was. Some called him the wayward son of one of Carthel's oldest families. But from what you are telling me, he did nothing that could bring shame to his name. I'll make sure to bring his urn to his parents' crypt. At least their son finally found his rest, his way home. You said you came from Hammerfall. I can't imagine the perils you had to face during your journey to bring your mentor's ashes to his final resting place. Your actions honor his memory. May Elrast light shine upon your weary hearts, travelers. And uh, there, that's our quest. That's the whole reason we came to this place. Done. The end. Roll credits. It all happened very fast. I knew there was some discontent, of course. Since Uriel's deception, the Empire has made many enemies, both outside and within. But I never expected the city to fall so quickly. In a matter of hours, Marcus Wolf and his black guards had, been taken, had taken control of the upper district and the Palace of the Vigil. It went almost too smoothly. As if everyone were under some sort of spell. Hmm, indeed. Ooh, level up time. I mean, it was our final quest, right? That was all we had to do. Lay our master's ashes to rest. That's the only reason we're even here. Uh, we're just going to invest in magic power these days. Maybe I'll put some more points into Met Spirit later. Or maybe put some points into Vitality. Who knows? Not right now. Right now I want to kill stuff with super high power. Okay, we'll just keep exploring. The Great Library. Ah, here we go. The one prime... Or the one mastery spell that we actually wanted. Shows off. Master Primordial. And... A little bit of luck. Implosion! And yeah, Spirit Beacon. There it is. So, Implosion... You just check the other spellcasters. Um, 
It's pretty good. Let's see how much damage it says. 107 to 137? And less damage to... It's It's got a small AoE. But it's mostly single target damage with... Uh, I don't know how the rest of the damage works. 30% <laughs> based on the target's remaining HP. But yeah, we'll just test it out. I know this is a pretty good spell though, so happy to have it. Uh, and then Spirit Beacon, uh, it's really more like you just set up a beacon and travel back to it. It's not like Lloyd's Beacon with 5 or 6. It's like uh, it's like an Ocarina of Time beacon. You can just leave it 1 and then go back to the last one. I think it only work, works once too as well. What are you doing? Just double check. Gossip? Taking control of the city and declaring himself Duke of Carthal. I really don't understand what the Marcus Wolf is trying to achieve by doing that. The Empire is likely to send armies to retake the city. And given the current tensions with the elves and wizards who've coveted the peninsula for years, that would sure escalate into all-out war. Perhaps that's what Marcus is out counting on. Perhaps he believes Empress Gwendolyn won't risk a war and will accept his demands, but that's a foolish gamble. Or maybe he actually wants a war. <laughs> Forgot to put my skill points. Uh, light master ready to go. Magic focus for crits. Water grandmaster ready and focus more on earth. Prime Grandmaster. I don't remember what spell that gets us, but Implosion. I mean, everything seems to resist air, so this gives us another element at least. And we we can learn Light Master back in Sea Haven and uh, Resurrection there as well. Okay, cool. Lots of good magic. So much magic. Almost all magic. Okay, there's another entrance to the sewers there. Uh, that's different than the one we came up in. Pretty large city, but easy to get around the way I remember it. Unlike the crag. Oh, good. Shopping. Everyone's favorite part place. Everyone's favorite part of a Let's Play is the shopping episode. Uh, I'll just sell it, I guess. That's, it's not that important. Radiant Archmage Orb. That's a lot of damage. Radiant is a whole bunch of light. And seeing as, you know, not a lot of enemies resist light. Dark damage. So they really like these high damage Archmage Orbs here. Uh, what I would like would be a Radiant Orb of... The various scholars so you get plus five to a skill and plus 20 something damage when you swing and once i have grandmaster focus i might want a couple of these anyway to switch out and you could get different elements right like you could change your melee damage element based on what you're fighting just by having a bunch of different foci um water magic scholar for instance we have protection from feeble minds, but we could take that. Light magic scholar is not as important, probably. Prime magic scholar, we could take that at least. Seven resistance to all. I mean that resist all is not terrible either. There's Spirit Beacon. Now we can just buy it as a scroll. Now we don't even need the spell. Terror is like Master Dark. We don't really need it. Supreme Mana Potions for sale. Very expensive, but that's kind of neat. Um, Sanctity is uh, Curses. Uh, 
Water magic sculler. Let me check my water mage. Well, we've got the resistance to sleep. Ah, I'll buy it. What else are we going to spend our money on? I'll hold on to... I mean, I don't know. Sleep doesn't happen very often. Apparently, you can't just hot swap. Oh, it's a amulet. I'm a dummy. Well... Dumb, dumb, dumb. Uh, okay, that's fine. I don't want to buy these orbs right now, but they're, they're pretty expensive. <laughs> but if I can't find anything else to buy, I'll, I'll maybe I'll get them later. Carthal League. Carthal has a history of being given to various rulers. The angels gave the city to Brian Falcon to celebrate the conversion to Elrath. The various Falcon emperors gave the city to someone in the Dukes of the Unicorn. Sometimes to the Duke of Greyhound. That's right, Duke of Greyhound. That's where we need to find the church for the girl. Um, yet nobody cared when the demons came knocking. The Carthal League only wanted to have us to have a little more autonomy within the whims of the nobles. Sure, politics. Everyone loves talking politics. trying to hug the corner here so I find stuff. Good day, raiders. Things are not too bad in the harbor district, but in the upper district, it's under martial law. Blah, blah, blah. Men in shadows. Looking at... Uh, armor shop. Probably nothing we want. I mean, plus four level of water on your helmet. Actually, wow. Convenience. I didn't expect we'd be finding stuff like that. Um, plus three levels of magical focus. That's... On a Grandmaster Arcane Focus or Magical Focus, that could be pretty cool, actually. Um... It's pretty cheap. Maybe that means it's not that good. Do I care about protection from curse? Not really. These are just random things I picked up along the way. I think this might be noticeable. And, and actually, plus three, my magical focus. That's another... That might be one of the better armor bonuses, actually. Because it's another 2.4% crit chance. So if you could st stack magical focus high enough, you could probably get to like 30 or 40% magical crit, uh, which is definitely what we want. So yeah, I should probably be keeping my eye open for um, probably alchemists. Of the alchemist is what would do that. So just think of that. Nothing needs to be fixed. Lobotus Empire, eight fielded, eight fold lotus flower is the Nega symbol. Eight petals divided, blah, 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 lore. I just... We've had a lot of lore. I'm glad the game has it in there, but... It kind of all just blends in for me some days. Okay, that's like one of the main entrances. Good. Blackguard, move along, simple citizens. What happened? Well, they were trying to build an expansion of the house to make it bigger. At the very day the workers stopped, supposed to hand the keys over, they discovered materials used for one of the mainstays was not strong enough. So everything collapsed. As you can imagine, its inhabitants were splitting nails. That's sad. Really had the best intentions. So you could believe them if you want. Probably they burned it down or something. Welcome, travelers. It doesn't look like much, but soon this will be one of Carthal's most prominent businesses. Hey, he finally has the quest to get Nega tea that I've been collecting for him automatically. I used to work on a trade ship, making many shit trips to Hashima and back. 
I became fascinated by one aspect of Nega culture. The tea! Well, I only need some samples of the various Nega teas. You, they need five teas. I see you've got four of them already. Where do we look? No, I don't know. Talk to Negas. Marcus Wolf, of course I know him by reputation. He's the nephew of the late Duke Gerhardt. Gerhardt. When Gerhardt's wife took control by killing the husband, Marcus was exiled, and he came there, blah, 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 blah. We're going to have to kill him. So we need Yura Goatee, and then that quest is done. Cool. Not to skim all of the dialogue, but <laughs> hopefully you guys can forgive me at this point. Maybe somebody's really excited about all these quest dialogues. I have a feeling probably more people than not are like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit repetitive, doesn't get much done. It's not, like, it's not, I mean, how important is it? I don't know. Every now and then they give you nice little lore details that I care about, but most of the random gossip is pretty much inconsequential. Okay, slums, we have not gone to yet. We'll save that for when we're done in this harbor. But we might be nearly done up here. Maybe. It's a very, very large town. I mean, this is probably the largest town in the game, in the... Peninsula, so. Hey, Sir Christian, we can travel now? Yeah, I'm sure we've talked to him before. Alright, so we can fast travel all over the place. Nice. There are enemies ahead. No. Sir Christian, I, uh, not run. I you have a killer spider right here on your beside your boat. What are you doing shipping these guys around? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna implode him. Don't worry. Implosion. So chances are, prime magic is gonna be one of the least resisted because it's probably the closest thing to non-elemental we're gonna be able to get. At least that's the theory. Not that one giant spider's too bad. Alright. A little bit of a surprise, to be sure. But we good. The lock kit. We can buy some supplies. We have a rest. Why is it called the lock kit? I don't know. <laughs> Adventurers. Lots of adventurers showed up here. You must be raiders. What do you want? Hamza is in the league. How do we find him? Oh, that's right. This is... We were told to rescue him or something. How do we find him? Why do you want to contact him? Uh, we hate the wolf. A lot of people hate the wolf. Fine. We sit for sent by John Morgan. I know. <laughs> of course she knows. I appreciate your honesty. Here this answers are found in the cosmic circle. Remember, the course of destiny cannot be turned once set in motion. So there's a I think this is a you know a password into one of the rooms. Also quite the sexy lady there. Look at look at those assets. <laughs> um I'll probably forget, but course of, I can look it up when I get to them and have to type something in, but yeah. She does help, that's good. Hey look, another water master. I actually no expert, not master. Uh, is this like uh, Acromage? Yeah. Archmage, yeah. Just be glad it's not in the game. 
be glad. Carthol League, blah blah blah. Vigil, Carthol, Blackguard, Cell, Hamza, Blad, Bad. Go away. Don't talk to me, I'm on the dock. There's a lot of people that don't want you to talk to them. Okay, that's the other main exit to the Agent Peninsula. I think we've seen both of those. That one's on the beach front, and the other one was towards the forest. I'm not really in a rush. I'm just tired of all the talking. All right. Sea Haven and Sorpagal. He's everywhere. Did I, I had a reason to go to Sea Haven. We can go learn Light Magic Master. Let's go do that. And we'll just... We'll cart back. Well, you know, I should have... I could have saved money. I could have uh, used my Prime Magic to leave a... a um, whatever it's called. Thingamajigger. So, I guess the main use of your, um, thing called Spirit Beacon, probably while you're in the middle of a dungeon, you could just, uh, plop that down. Uh, we gotta go to the church up here. Um, you could, you could plop that down by a church or an inn, and then while you're in the middle of a dungeon, you could just beacon immediately to the, to the inn, rest, and then beacon right back to where you were in the dungeon, in theory. Or one direction or the other. I think you could do something like that. Alright, Light Magic Master. So it's about time. Maybe we should have picked up Light Master a long time ago. Because we could have got it earlier, but... I don't know. Resurrection. Pretty good spell. Now when people die, I don't have to reload. You could spirit beacon and just go to an, a church and get uh, resurrected for money, right? Didn't, don't need light magic master, just spirit beacon your way out. Cost 20 mana, deal. And heal party is 35 mana. So it's uh, not really as good as regen, honestly. But um, it's another option. It's more HP than regen in one cast. But it's only one instance. It doesn't give you the overtime effect, which is arguably the best part. Arguably. Alrighty. Where's my horseshoes? They really should have added horseshoes. I don't know why they didn't add horseshoes. Just a few extra skill points wouldn't have killed anybody, right? And then you could choose who to give them to, even like that's always a, that's always a fun part of these games, deciding who to stack your fire magic skill to master. Uh, welcome, welcome ingredients. People say dragon blood crystals are shiny. That's all we need. Fools, alternatives are the future, or something. Thanks. Crackpot Alchemist, thanks for the gossip. Garrison! We could be a Spear Grandmaster. No, we couldn't. Carthel's governed by a city council of three members, Gino, Thea, and Myron. They're all dead or in prison or gone or something. I'm Yasin, but I'm not a Praetorian Guard. I've been dismissed! All right. At least they didn't just kill everybody, right? Bowmaster. Well, if you're looking for amulets and enchanted jewelry, go to Brenda's shop. The Cosmic Circle. Oh, that's right. I didn't realize that was the name, but I do need to go to the Cosmic Circle to find the guy. But I need the pacifiers. And I'm not saying this only because she's my wife. Oh, I see. He must be doing pretty well. A uh, bunch of weapons. We don't really care about weapons. This is not a weapon party. We don't believe in physical violence. We believe in magical destruction. Okay, that might be everywhere. Maybe. Eh, probably not. What are you guys doing up here? Hanging out? Oh, do you have any Naga tea? Thanks! 
That's all of them. How's your Nega tea? Pretty good. Algae, kelp. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Yum, yum. <laughs> Except not really. Hey, how dare you back tuck my, my Nega tea? So where's the guy that wanted that? He's somewhere in this town. Um... I think it was down and right is, is the way I'm thinking. This is the cosmic circle. We'll save that for just a second. If we can turn in a quest, we should turn in a quest. Uh, you know the drill. Seems like this one might have been the house. Yeah, I even, I even remembered. Elixirs. Wow, you found all five. Awesome. Take some elixirs. And have a level up. Magic power. And air master ready to go. Rides. Do we need another earth? Let's see. So rides is at the point where I have some options. Um, we could get more mana. We could go for some health. We could go for... I'm just not sure going for Earth Grandmaster is going to make much difference, right? If if we've got... If Drow's already kind of committing to Earth Grandmaster... We've already started that, and, and you've only got the gear for, like, one person with huge Earth. I like having two people with Regen and stuff, but there's no... You know, poison doesn't stack, so having two people with earth magic is not that valuable. I don't regret going to master, but more than that is definitely a waste, I think. Having more people with air would be good. Having more people with water? I mean, it gives us more, like, you know, air, if, if enemies are resistant to air, which is happening a lot, there's no other element rides can do, and he can only go master magic focus. So if we trained water up a lot, we would have access to cool spells. Or I could pick up like medium armor expert and train up one of those relics. I could go fire master, but it's not that. Endurance does give you hit health, which would be nice. Ah. Magic resistance might not be terrible either, just as a backup. But it doesn't give you very much. Like, 25 points to give you 25 magic resistance. That's a lot of investment for questionable value. Mysticism is... I mean, Cyclone's a very expensive spell. Maybe going for Master Mysticism would be decent. Or endurance. I'm just trying to think if I would use another spell school other than air. The problem is, yeah, we keep running into enemies that are resistant to air, but we've got earth, technically. I'm going to go for more mana for now. I'm not sure about it. But I... I <laughs> Maybe once we're done with all these black guards, chain lightning will start being really effective. I know this is a really good spell, and I want to have the mana to spam these, so. Uh, I did see one of our things leveled up, one of our relics. I can find it. This one's almost leveled up. There we go. Will and Resolve is maxed. Uh, it's got a big... Yeah, the deal that's a it's got a lot of um reflection damage. And uh, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Also, oh yeah, we got a lot of the uh the Nega T quest was worth a lot of um quite a lot of experience. So, pretty sure we had to go to Craig the Craig to get it. So it is like a, you know, we weren't supposed to finish it quite just yet. But uh, the fact that we already went to all the towns sort of sped that up a little bit. But that's nice. Hey, look, it remembers. The course of destiny cannot be turned once set into motion. 
Brenda doesn't even flinch. Oh, you want to see the special merchandise? I heard about you. You're John Morgan's pet raiders. I don't know how you found me, but if you want to make it out of here alive, you better get, have good reason to seek me. Uh, what about Hamza? I was born in Carthol, but spent most of my adult life in Al Imral, one of the seven cities, serving as a mage blade. I returned to Carthol 15 years ago for my father's funeral. I realized Carthol had always been my true home and never left. But I was flabbergasted by the lack of care the Imperial Crown displayed towards the city. This led to the foundation of the Carthol League. I've heard about you. Oh, yeah. The Carthol League was originally a gathering of citizens disgruntled by way of the Empire treated the way the Empire treated the city. Our goal was not to secede completely, but to obtain partial autonomy. This changed after the second eclipse, when the demons attacked. So, no help came from the Empire, and we were left to fend for ourselves. This led to some members of the League to seek a more radical course. They allied themselves with Marcus Wolf, an outlawed noble, in the space of a few years. Marcus had taken control of the League and turned it into the greatest vessel of his own ambition, making the peninsula his own personal duchy. Ha! He's a little more than a dog with delusions of grandeur. So you want to rescue Falagar. Many of my men are rotting within the dragon-cursed walls. I'm too visible a target, but maybe you can pull it off. You're working for John Morgan, so maybe. If we were to break into the Black Guard's headquarters, we'll need several things, like a key. First, You're we need... To help. Thank you, guys. First, we need to obtain the key to the sealed part of the sewers passing under the building. It is currently in the hands of one of the captains named Theron. Find Theron, get the sewer key. And then we need some information about the garrison and patrols. But not for free. The Black Black Fane could help us, although I'm wary of working what they'll ask. Once these two tasks are done, meet me again. Okay. Main quest. Basically. Right? That's pretty high prior well. Oh boy, we got a lot of quests. Uh Sewer Key, find Theron, and Somewhere find Black Fang. Black Guard, Black Fang organization. They're probably in the sewers. All right, we got 57 minutes. We're pretty much running out of time. But I think there's a Black Guard, but his name's not Theron. Man, necessarily. Um. What I would like to see is. How much is there to explore in the slums? I don't remember how big it is, but in theory, we might still have a bit of, um, a bit more town to explore. But I don't know if there's much down here. Slum, it doesn't sound like a nice place to explore. Slums. Not a place I'd go for vacation. Legitimately more town to explore. Carthol really is huge. Uh, yeah, okay, I kind of remember this place. Uh, not a lot of shops. Yes, I used to be one of the city guards. After the coup, the black guards dismantled us, and the officers were executed, making blatant threats against our family. And they closed the city gates so we couldn't escape, and, you know, basically, I became a black guard because that's the only job that left. So the slums is a hive of scum and villainy. I feel so tired. But we'll probably find the solution to some of our quests down here. Especially if you can walk on water. Which maybe we'll want to go look into before we delve too much deeper into uh, Arthal quests. The um, elemental... Uh, what do we call it? Uh... Elemental Forge is maybe the next place we should go. There's a couple things we can do. And we're getting more powerful by the episode. So, as we become more and more overpowered, we couldn't possibly kill anything on the map now. Maybe. And, um... Pulsing Purple is just resistance. Yeah. One is basically nothing. But, uh, yeah. In theory, we could, uh... We could go all over. But I am pretty sure, um... This, the blessings from the Elemental Forge are very important. So maybe do that next. Next episode, that is. Ha 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 ha. 
Um, training, sure. Training, no thank you. Training, no thank you. Just lots of expert level stuff, nothing that important. I wonder if they keep thinking we're chatting up women, or if it's just all the other men in the world that are chatting up. And we just overhearing them yell at each other. Right. This is a really weird... Okay. I do remember this. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here. If you weren't looking at your mini-map, you may never guess that you could walk this way and go across a complicated bridge bridge structure up and down into that area yeah yeah that's it's all coming back weird weird map design i mean it's cool but it just doesn't work on grid based that well civilians are not allowed in here move along do i look like a civilian i am a hero all right um i mean we are at an hour I do kind of remember exploring this area is well you got to use your free mouse look or else you'll free camera or you might never find your way down probably but right I yeah classic it wouldn't be might and magic if there weren't uh, teleporting barrels I feel stronger. I, I don't feel so good. stronger but not so good yeah! The Thunderblade Helmet has leveled up. Alright, but have you leveled up live future tubers? No live tubers around. Helmet level 4. More reflected damage. No feeble mind. More air protection. Sure, these are all fine. This is a very dangerous slums. I don't feel so good. I kill you. Okay. Thanks for killing me. Yeah, this happens, and then you're lost. <laughs> uh, good thing I went down here at the very end of my episode. So this is technically, I believe, we have now crossed to the other side of the slum district, right? Like, all we found down there was spiders and villains, but they're... Could be more if we... I mean, there's definitely more. This might be the worst place to explore. Just for the layout. Very much overlapping and complicated. Fire Magic Master? I guess there's two Fire Magic Masters, seeing as we got that somewhere else. Welcome, I wasn't expecting visits. What can I do for you? His voice is friendly, but his eyes are suspicious. Drop the axe, Saeed. Oh, his eyes turned red. Who's this guy? Should have known. It was only a matter of time before my little tr secret was discovered. Oh, well, I was beginning to tire of Carthal anyway. We'll meet again. He disappears into a burst of flames. While Malik had managed to escape through an infernal gate... <laughs> Off camera. Still standing there. <laughs> he had to leave behind one of his most prized possessions. The last known copy of... The oh, the Gorita Real. Guess what? We can promote uh, one of our... Our rune... Our rune... No. Uh, our druid. In theory, Jural can become a super druid. <laughs> I mean, if all the promotions were that easy, right? Yay! 
all you do is like find some guy in a room you're like hey give me that book and he just leaves totally forgot his name i'm like saeed Sa do i know you so this place is huge there's almost nothing to do here other than find a doorway and get promoted They really are just complaining about me everywhere I go. I don't like disturbances in my place. Lay off politics or get out. Me, I'm a drunkard. Guess that makes me a citizen. Uh, Unicorn's Tavern. Old dialect of the Greyhound Duchy. Seemed uh, fitting somehow. What do you want? Can't you see I'm drinking? He interrupts before you can say anything. Tut tut, I'm not interested in anything you can say. I'm only, I only talk to my friends. My friends usually start by offering me a drink. Fine, buy him a round. Ah, yes. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. So let's have a toast to our newfound friends. Who will drink with me? We got a dwarf, Grotham. Ah, amazing secret skill checks that need some stat to pass that we don't have anyone that can pass. Well, that's great. Let's just call it a night. <laughs> uh, this game really assumed you have someone who's got a high might stat, a high magic stat, a high perception stat. You're supposed to have a fighter, a mage, a thief, and a tank. Like a defender style, you know, shield guy, an archer or something, and maybe a dual wielding damage dealer, and then some kind of mage. If you don't meet the archetype, then you can't, <laughs> can't even do the quest. Uh... I don't even know vitality for drinking. Yes. Oh, we got all these potions. We can get vitality up to 20. That's probably not enough. Um yeah, we got a bunch of mana we can spread around here. Uh, let's let's do the potions before we wrap up our episode again. Uh, 111. Oh, I didn't have very many of these. Only three. Oh. Mana potions. Wow, 267. You're looking manorific. Here, there you go. Enjoy your new mana. I don't suppose 20 is enough? <laughs> 20 might have been enough! After a few rounds, after everyone drank with him, we get a sewer key. Okay. It's not even a very high... Hope it's not waste of time. I don't even think it's a very high challenge. It's just funny that if you don't have it, you can't do the quest. That's like... If you're playing D&D, this is generally a bad design. If you make a skill check that if your players fail due to not high enough stats or just they just don't roll enough and you only get to roll once and then they're just gated off. They can never finish, you know, they can't explore your dungeon. They can't open the door. It's just like dead end. Um, that's a pretty good example of a, you know, not, not the best design because then you... Uh, if, if you pass, it's fine. No, it'll think about it. But if you fail, it's like, now what? <laughs> it's just the end, you know? That's not... In a game, it's like, well, but we have to find... We have to get the key. <laughs> and I guess there is a possibility that you could just go level up and put points into Vitality just so you could beat him on drinking. 20 is not that high, so you probably very rarely run into this issue, but... 
Yeah, it's fine. Just kind of funny. Um, I, I don't like the gating, though, I guess. Like, I don't know how you could do it better, but uh, those kind of things, 90% of players will never even notice because they have one of their characters has a lot of vitality because they're a tank or a melee fighter. And then the rest of us who are doing special runs, it's like, oh, surprise! Turns out you have to invest into vitality on at least one character or you can't finish the game. Now, you can do this later on. I don't, I don't think we have to do it right now, but... It, it just limits your options a little bit. You have to put some vitality. You probably should, but if you were doing a challenge run with minimum health, which, you know, like a, a no level up challenge. I've seen people do stuff like that for various games where you're like, let's not, let's go minimum level. Well, this puts a minimum. You have to level up your stats a little bit to get past this checkpoint. Eh, it's, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to overdo it. It's just a little bit unfriendly for me. Anyway, time to end the episode. I've been going on a long time. Next time I'll finish exploring this dumb area. And uh, we'll see where I go from there. I'd like to go to the Elemental Forge. I know there's some broken, some some doors in there to open up. So we can do that probably with our new stats. And so yeah, finish Carthol, maybe Elemental Forge. If we get the ability to walk on water at that point, we open up a lot of stuff. And we can start doing promotions, obviously. So it'd be nice to get people promoted so that we can do Grandmaster. So like if we get Drow promoted, then, in theory, we could go get Grandmaster Water and learn even more cool stuff. So, I would like to get that going around now. Because we can go Fire GM, Water GM, Air GM, and Magical Focus GM. Everyone's got one ready, at least, and then a couple more levels, they'll have a second, maybe. So, that sounds pretty fun. Good things to look forward to, anyway. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. This, I, okay, just to tell you guys that made it to the end of the episode... Um, this series is going on a lot longer than I thought. I wasn't sure, I couldn't remember how long of a let's play or how long of the game this was. Um, but yeah, this is a lot more episodes than I was expecting because we've got a pretty long way to go still. And, um, well, a fairly long way to go. I think we're more than halfway through, but still, I was thinking this might be like a 15 to 20 episode kind of a let's play, but it's probably gonna be more like 30 to 40, but it's fine. I just, uh, I think I underestimated how long it would take but uh definitely having a good time uh in terms of like levels we are level 21 we've got about 10 levels to go so we're probably about two-thirds of the way through that's a pretty fair guess i would say so yeah even though it doesn't look like we've done hardly anything uh we'll start banging out blessings and acts and stuff i think this will start speeding up now maybe or maybe i'm crazy find out next time thanks for watching